You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. What a beautiful day for horses in the morning. You are listening to the number one horse podcast in the world. Here is your entertaining look at the horse world and the people in it. I am Glenda Geek from Ocala, Florida, and you're listening to Horses in the Morning for Labor Day, September the 2nd, episode 3510. I cannot believe that August is gone already. It is an American holiday, so we are off today enjoying. Recently, we celebrated our 3500th episode, and we referenced that we were together for episode 3000 at Jamie's Farm in Oklahoma. I know some of you are new since then, so I thought I'd replay that episode for you today. We recorded it together in her living room. Plus, this is the one and only time we interviewed Farm Boy. Yes, you get to hear Farm Boy on today's episode. Also, I wanted to replay this because you get to hear from so many of our listeners and friends. I really enjoyed hearing all of them again. Tomorrow, the American Horse Council will be here, and Jamie and I will be back on Wednesday. And next week, it's Poop Week, a full week of everything horse poop, brought to you by Poseidon Animal Health. Enjoy this happy revisit back to August of 2022 in Jamie's living room in Norman, Oklahoma. Well, good morning, everybody. I am Glenn the Geek in Norman, Oklahoma. And I'm Jamie Jennings, and I'm also in Norman, Oklahoma. You're listening to Horses in the Morning on the Horse Radio Network for August 17th, episode... 3,000! 3,000! <laughs> brought Woo-hoo! to you by State Line Tech. Good morning, horse friends. Hi, this is Aw oh, Yeah. I'm the voiceover artist you've been hearing for thousands of episodes. I just wanted to wish you a happy 3,000th episode. Mwah! And now, some fun celebratory sound effects. <laughs> Did you randomly send that in? When it's time for muck and stalls or throwing hay or driving to our nine to five in the carpool lane. How do we keep from going crazy? What keeps us sane? Well, we listen to horses in the morning. We go out and listen when the show is up every day of our work week, no matter what. Health and wealth will overflow your cup when you listen to horses in the morning. There's a lot of podcasts out there, maybe last a year, but Jamie Glenn and HRN have shown no fear. It's been 3,000 episodes and we're still here because we love our horses in the morning. We go out and listen when the show is up every day of our work week, no matter what. Health and wealth will overflow your cup when you listen to horses in the morning. Thank you. That was Auditor Allie that did that. I feel like I'm cheating a banjo behind that. <laughs> that was awesome. That was Auditor Allie. Thank you so much for sending that in, and happy 3,000th, everybody. Yeah. Because some of you have listened to all 3,000 episodes out there, I'm so sorry. I know that. I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> Especially the early days when the sound wasn't great. But today we're making podcasting history. Uh, There are very few, if any, other podcasts that have hit 3,000 episodes. And uh, we're going to hear from a lot of you today because I have you. a lot of you have sent in voicemails, which uh, is going to be a lot of fun. We have some poems. Uh, We also heard from some of our podcasting friends from the industry, including a Hall of Famer in the podcasting world, which we will never be because I don't think they even know horses exist in the no. podcast hall of fame so there's a podcast hall of fame people <laughs> that's is. what i'm going with yeah <laughs> There is. Uh, So, yeah, we heard from one of them, too. So we have a lot to do on today's show. We're glad you're here. We're glad that the auditors are watching the live stream. There's 40 of them in there watching right now. So welcome to all of you. And we have something we have to do to start the show today. And that is we have to open the champagne. And if you uh, are watching the video, you will see that to my left is a farm boy. He's back. And he's now 21. So I offered him some Champagne before he leaves. The world's Are you are really 21 people. now? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, just good. a couple <laughs> weeks ago. Just fresh 21. I'm the boss. I'm responsible here. <laughs> it's my house. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. And Jennifer's here, too. Hello, so, everybody. Uh, say hi to Jennifer. Drag me out of the And woodwork. you can hear her sound today, too. And I'm, I'm turning Farm Boy's uh, mic on. So hi. say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. There you go. <laughs> good job. He just got back yesterday from, was it Wyoming? Wyoming. You were doing some serious riding in Wyoming. 
Yeah. Yep. Do I exaggerate <laughs> when I talk when I do his voice? Not that I do your voice. No, no, weird. she does your voice. Um, <laughs> his is better. <laughs> This is tremendously embarrassing. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. All right. Let's open Worlds some champagne. Are, colliding. are you ready? Three, two, one. There it is. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get the glasses. And you're all welcome to drink along with us, you even got, though it's only guys, 10 o'clock in the morning here. You guys talk all, all right. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning here. But uh, we're drinking anyway, because why not? We've done this a long time. We deserve it. And it's so good to be doing this together. I'm really glad we're doing this yeah, together. Yeah, this worked out amazing how you happened to be driving through town. <laughs> and I looked at it, and that was not planned originally. I just looked at the calendar and went, wait, we're going to be doing 3,000 while we're here. So this is perfect. It worked out perfect. So we're going to do a toast She's here. So I'll let you do the toast, okay? We'll wait till we all have our, our drinks and you I all get your drinks. prepare anything. Oh, that's okay. You're good at this. How many weddings have you been to? You know, you've been a bridesmaid a few times. You can do a toast. I actually... You've never been a bridesmaid? I've been a bridesmaid once. Okay. I wasn't a good enough friend to people, I guess, <laughs> to like actually be a bridesmaid. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> not really, but it's sad, actually. It's not sad. I'm okay. You're okay? You okay with that? <laughs> I don't mind. Hold on. <laughs> there, there's a clink. Well, hey, to new friends and old, to making podcast magic happen and to all being here together doing it yay and that includes all of you at home all oh crazy that's people good watching i this like nonsense. that yeah, that's, that's good if we have our mimosas that's what we've got going here today i was like and- i'm not drinking that then i had a hell of a morning and so i am <laughs> <laughs> all right we want to do some daily windies and get the show started let's do it all right Well, we're going to catch up on birthdays on Friday. We'll catch up on all the birthdays on Friday. I have a lot to do in my Daily Winnie today because we have a lot of people to thank. There's been, you know, this isn't just Jamie and I doing this show. There's so many other people involved in it. So I'm going to go down through the list. Auditors and listeners, you guys, I mean, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And, And we wouldn't be here if you weren't supporting our sponsors to the degree that you do. I mean, it's amazing how many... Well, we were over at your friend's the other night, and she has sponsor stuff all over her barn. Yeah. I mean, and she's a listener, and, and she just... KPP and a couple others. So, and we hear from you all the time, and we hear from the sponsors all the time about how much you, you help us out there. So, and just thank you for putting up with us and for listening for all this time. We only, we only talk... Uh, but that's part of it, Glenn, is we only let sponsors in and their products that we believe in so people can trust that what we talk about we like that's right and i need to thank the person to my right my lovely wife jennifer she said yes when i came up with this <laughs> crazy when you idea. ask her to marry you <laughs> yes that, <laughs> i thought you were gonna that's say where it started yeah that, and then there have been many times over this 34 year marriage when i've said hey jennifer i have an idea and she rolls her eyeballs and wants to run the other way. And this time, uh, 12 years ago, I said, I have an idea. I want to do a daily podcast because I always wanted to be a morning radio show guy. I always wanted to do that, but I didn't want to work in radio, like at a station because they're nuts, as Jamie will just do. <laughs> so I said, well, let's just start our own. But back in that day, this was not easy to do. I mean, it was not easy to do a live show like we did back then or a daily show. And you said... Yes, to this one. I'm I not said, sure why. Sure. <laughs> and, but we had sponsors right away at, when we first started. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons she said yes, is I wasn't we doing it for a, free. We can give this a go. And then we found Jamie. And uh, you're next on the list. I wanted to thank you for taking a chance and doing this crazy podcast. I didn't even think you kind of knew what a podcast was back then. But... I didn't. No. Yeah. This guy just wants to do an internet radio show. That's right. I was like, there's no video. We're cool. <laughs> Which is why I here we are. And here we are with video. (laughs) Which is why I called it Horse Radio Network because nobody knew what a podcast was back then. So we just went with online radio because figuring they'd kind of get that maybe. Um, But you took a chance. I mean, you said yes to doing this all those years ago. So on my Facebook memories, yesterday I got hired by you. Oh really? Was it really? So it was. It was August. Yeah, yeah, you hired me in August, but we didn't start till November 1st because you had to get through the World Equestrian Games. And we started this right after the World... We did spent 17 days at the World Equestrian Games and then started this right after. Did I already have the name? You had the name, you had the logo, you had everything. You basically presented me with this 
information packet, like this idea box, you know, like this is I was our in idea. salesman mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were, de- you, you were selling it to me for sure. <laughs> Clearly I bought. <laughs> He's good. I, we like names for shows that are literal, that really say dressage radio show, eventing radio show. You know, we, we like the There's names. No guessing. And Horses in the Morning was just perfect. And I, I think it was, I'm so glad we picked this name. It's just worked. Uh, also, I want to thank Helena. Now, Helena is not part of the show, but if it weren't for Helena, we would not, the Horse Radio Network wouldn't be here today because Helena did the first show with me in 2008, the Stable Scoop show. She agreed and said yes, only because she was friends with both of us. And she likes to try new things, and she's a I tech said, Please, wizard. Please, Helena, he needs <laughs> he needs an outlet. He's making me crazy. Please, that do is it, pretty please. much what she told Helena. Yeah. So yes. Helena bought it and went along, and Helena's still part of the network today. So thank you, Helena. We love you. Um, also, all the Tuesday and Thursday hosts, we have a lot of those, uh, and without them, we wouldn't be here either. They really help support and give a variety to the show. Uh, Karen Chatton and Mary Kitzmiller have been with us forever. Karen was right away nine years ago, and Mary soon after that. Also, the Certified Horsemanship Association, which I still can't say, Sidelines Magazine, American Side Saddle Association, Horse Illustrated, Equine Affair, and Total Equihealth are all part of the Tuesday and Thursday gang. And there's been a ton of those over the years that have gone off and done their own shows or, or done it for a while. So thank you to all of them. Our sponsors... What a great group of people, and a couple have been with us for since the beginning. Kentucky Performance Products since day one, State Line Tech, Horse Lovers, uh, World Equestrian Center is fairly new with us, but then the World Equestrian Center is fairly new. Uh, Daily Dose Equine, Horseware, WinTech, Purina. So thank you to all of our sponsors. Again, we wouldn't be here without them. Uh, and we, we, we become good friends with a lot of them too, which is kind of cool, you know, who becomes good friends with their sponsors, but that's happened because I think the horse world is, uh, allows that to happen. Uh, our amazing editing and producing team, Jemmy and George, and they're from Flintstone Media. A lot of, you know, Jemmy, she was on the show here producing for a while. So uh, they they actually take the show every day. When we're done, we send it off to them, and they put it out. So they are the ones that get it out so quickly after we're done recording. Uh, so we we thank them for being part of it. And George works with you when I'm not here to help. Correct. Yeah, to help produce the show. Thanks, George. And George and Paul would do Retired Racehorse Radio as well. And Paul's very British. And George would yell at me. It's too loud in there. What's going on? <laughs> I like, yell at you because let of it go, that. George. Too. Just keep moving. <laughs> I yell at you, too. That's usually when Chad's in the kitchen banging (laughs) dishes. Um, And our regular contributors, Horse Nation, Pat, Cowgirl in the Kitchen, all our spotlight riders. And we've had so many regular contributors over the last 12 years. Uh, And some, you know, some that have moved on because they've moved on, you know, in life. And and we just, uh, one of our most popular was Victoria. Uh, you know, we still get her back occasionally, but uh, Victoria Spicer our... only because of her accent and uh, people love her. Because they talk about horses, horses, and <laughs> yay, Victoria. So yeah, so and I have let me find it in my lineup here. Oh, you're gonna mess it all up. Yeah, I probably will. I have um, a message here from Megan, and I'm going to play that message if he can find it. Hey, Jamie and Glenn. It's Megan Mitchell. I've been, uh, congrats, by the way, on 3,000 episodes. And I've been an auditor since 2020. It's about this time two years ago. And I found you guys at a, a really low point in my life. My son had been tragically killed in March of 2020. Not COVID related. And when I discovered your show, it really helped me to not think about that so much when I was making my long drive into work and back. Um, So I thank you for that. Now, my husband doesn't thank you for all the things that I bought because of the show. So I thought I'd (laughs) tell you my list of items I purchased. Here we go. (laughs) An Eco Gold saddle pad. Check. Equiderma wound ointment, shampoo, Check, yeah. and fly spray, total saddle fit stability stirrups, Nalox, yep. equine hemp pellets, the shoulder relief girth. I joined Monty Roberts University and I have a dually halter. I purchased breeches that were recommended. 
I subscribe to Horse Illustrated, and I think the list could kind of go on and on and on. Thank you. But um, I do like that all of the products are endorsed by y'all, and I thank you again for everything you've done for me. So here's to another 3,000 episodes, okay? And we're, All right, take care. Bye. We're going to drink to you, and we're drinking That's to your son. So sweet, everybody! What a lovely lady. I was, I was writing down. I'm like, See, here's the problem with this show: is we we advertise all these things because I've already. Bought, them. bought all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> like I own all of those things you talked about too. So, <laughs> and uh, the, yeah, stuff doesn't just pop in the mail for free. Like I bought things, <laughs> I buy it's, things. It's not always. It was. It's like it was free. It's not always the case. No, it's definitely not. No, it's interesting. You say that because Chad's not here right now. Yeah, I think the first part of her message. We have heard that over and over and over again over the last twelve years. How people have had things in their life, no matter what it is. And just listening to us has helped them. So we're glad we can help. Yeah. And, 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 you know, we think we do a silly show, but, you know, you know, apparently people are listening and trying to escape. We help them escape the world, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. That's our job. We help them escape Put the world. Put them in my weird world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. With your, all of your problems. All right. Daily Winnie for you. And I don't, I don't have your... Specific Daily Winnie, I'm sorry. Well, you can't do like an hour-long Daily Winnie and expect me to remember what I was going to say. I should have written it down. But I would like to say thank you for coming. This is awesome. And having this weird idea and uh, following through with it, you know, it's one of the things. And, and I'm glad he's back and all is right in the world and... and uh, I, I've been dealing with some, you know, you can't pick your family. They just kind of come that way. So I've been dealing with some of that, and you guys have been a great distraction from all of that as well. So thank he you. Is, Glenn is an excellent I'm a distraction. great distraction. I will That's say that pretty much his, all I am is a distraction. That, that is You're a good superpower. distraction, but then, like, you've been riding with me every morning. Now, Farm Boy's back, and everything. Yeah, the, the world is. It's all getting better. Getting better. Yeah. And we got beautiful flowers. Oh, my gosh. I was so. We were driving out yesterday, and this lady pulls up. And she's like, I don't know where to put these. And I'm like, what are they? Why am I getting flowers? But you can. And that was from Emily. Emily sent us the flowers. Our auditor, Emily. Thank you so much, Emily. They're beautiful. They're here in the video for the auditors to see. And we also want to thank 10-year-old Paige Hairs. Oh, my God. For becoming an auditor. She, with her own money, has become an auditor because she loves the show so much. So th- welcome, see, Paige. We're glad to I have you. going to do before that you made me forget because you took 15 <laughs> minutes. Listen. My goal in life is to make Paige happy from okay. now on. Good, good. Like I think that you is what I'm do. living. She's by. spending her hard-earned <laughs> money on us. I don't know what Paige, but I think it's a great investment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bless her. her Ten years old, did she want to become an auditor? And much like what? And her mom let her. <laughs> well, that's what I would have done to my kid. Like, you want to do that? Spend your own money. By and the way, so, her mom is not a horse person, and doesn't horses scare her? She said she does pick up the who's at lessons, but apparently, pay. Paige is just over the moon about horses and found our show. Good. So, uh, Paige, we'll get you going in the right yeah. direction. Good. Love Thank you, you girl. Paige. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for finding us and listening and educating and entertaining yourself. Like this is, it's awesome. I'm so glad that, and like I said, the world has changed. Now I do the show <laughs> for one single human. Well, that's right. It's all about Paige. It's now. all about Paige. She, well, she might be our youngest. I'm, her mom, I'm sure she's our youngest. Her daughter. mom messaged me. was like, is this going to be clean? And I'm like, my, my life is now dedicated <laughs> to Paige. <laughs> Before we hear from more of our listeners, we have a lot of listeners to hear from today, so we'll get on with that. I wanted to give a toast to one other person, and that's Uncle Jimmy. Yeah, Uncle Jimmy, Uncle Jimmy was a sponsor of ours for years. He's no longer with us, and uh, we love Uncle the Jimmy. There we go. We love his hanging balls. So this is to you, Uncle Jimmy. That's a treat. That's a it's a treat. It's a horse treat. Page. Yes, it's, it's a, a horse, horse treat. treat. That is correct. <laughs> yes, it is. Page's right. mom. Let's hear from some of our listeners. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Glenn. This is Delia from Illinois. And I just want to say congrats on the 3,000, like, wow, 3,000th episode. 
That's awesome. I found Horses in the Morning a little less than a year ago, and it has just made me love the horse community even more. And I feel like I finally kind of found my niche and people that I can actually relate to in the horse world, besides from the super snobby uh, rich ones. So, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Glenn and Jamie. This is Erin from Vermont calling to say congrats on episode 3000. Um, while I've only gotten to hear a fraction of the episode since I became an auditor at the beginning of the pandemic, um, I can't tell you how much I enjoy the laughs and all the learning from the show. Um, but I think the biggest surprise was how wonderful the auditor community actually is. And I never would have imagined that as a result of listening to a horsey podcast, um, I'd actually meet people in real life <laughs> who shared some of the same ideas I do about horses. So off the top of my head, um, I I, the auditor community has been important in so many ways. I am part of an endurance green bean team made up all of auditors cheering each other on from across the U.S. and Canada Aww. as we make progress in endurance riding. Oh, um, I've gone on real life trail rides with other auditors from New England. Um, I volunteered with auditors recently at the Vermont 100 endurance ride and can't say that I expected to find a group of people who I actually enjoyed spending 24 hours outside in the sun hanging out with, but I did. <laughs> Um, and thanks to Jamie's recommendations, I actually found a Monty Roberts instructor who ended up in rural Vermont um, right after participating in the movement, was able to help me with some issues I was having with a new mayor. So hey. you all have created a really amazing community. You know, you make us laugh, you help us learn, you connect us to each other in ways that are just so valuable. Um, and we can't thank you enough. Please keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Hi, Horse Radio Network. This is Gina Moronic in Claremont, Florida. And I just want to say happy 3,000 episodes. Truly an amazing achievement of persistence and creativity. I can't imagine what it's like to keep coming up with new things to teach us uh, week after week, episode after episode. But you guys still do. Uh, and my favorite thing about Horse Radio Network is I just, I get to keep learning. I get to join a community that helps me learn. I get to listen to topics that help me learn. When I wonder about something, I first go to Horse Radio Network's website and say, I wonder if HRN's done a segment on this. So wonderful stuff, wonderful community, wonderful hosts, wonderful content. Happy anniversary. When I started listening to Horses in the Morning, I didn't know what was about to happen. I loved Jamie and Glenn, but then there was Karen chatting. Stories of riding all day, in the dark and through the night. All of a sudden, my paint and sander bed weren't just right. I needed something more, even if my husband didn't think so. I needed something a little more, well, like Bo. Now there's an Arabian in my pasture. Thanks to horses in the morning. Maybe the show should come with a warning. <laughs> it probably should. It probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That was great. That was so fun. That was great. I, I loved hearing about the little communities that have developed and how mm -hmm. people are getting together with each other and we don't even know about it. So there's, there's a variety of offset pages that could like the, the Facebook page for horses in the morning auditor page also has multiple other kind of like branches off of it. It's like HRN auditor moms, HRN auditor. There's an endurance one. There's endurance. a tack and toggles where they sell, sell stuff. They have a sci-fi sci one. Yeah, they the chicken have lovers. They have yeah. a chicken lovers. <laughs> a books one. one. They have the mom's yeah. one. They have the book the bookworm one. There might be a Harry Potter one. Not sure. It is fun too yeah. because I know that in the past I've there was a horse I was supposed to go. Somebody wanted me to look at in Montana, and I put a feel out to the auditors, and somebody was happy to go 20 minutes down the road. There's just somebody everywhere. So it's a great community to be a part of, to get help for those kinds of things. And, and I'm just so pleased also how, you know, to take a bunch of off the track thoroughbreds and restart them and, and people have been adopting them sight unseen our auditors from all over the country. And I, I, I want to thank you guys for trusting me and be knowing that I'm going to be honest about where the horse is and what the horse is going to do. And if it's the right horse for you and, and, and these people probably drives Barrett crazy. Adopt that them and send them <laughs> off. Yeah. I bear, poor, he's wanted to keep a couple of them, I believe. And I'm like, nah, this one's do you have a new love of thoroughbreds now that you've worked here? I definitely enjoyed riding them a lot. Do you, did you only do quarter horses before? Or were, it was kind of anything I was available to ride. Yeah. Quarter There's horses, that guy. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> if it's yeah. got four legs, you'll climb on. Yep. Yeah. But you 
uh, although you have a definite love of horses and all thing horses, you didn't have a whole lot of riding experience. Your your uncle basically put you on a horse and said, "See you later. You Don't go. fall off. Yeah, see you in a week." That was my riding lessons <laughs> for the first couple of years. <laughs> so uh, you spent the entire you spent the summer with him last year. Then you found our program, us here, me, and then uh, you went back to him. Was anybody? Did anybody comment on how your riding was going? All the guys there were definitely impressed. That really? Yeah. They definitely noticed a difference. Thought I'd seen some miles. Uh-huh. Ah, look and, at that. Uh, did they know they were English miles? Uh, you know? I did not specify <laughs> the type of miles. Good man. <laughs> did you tell them that she made you wear a helmet? Did you tell them that? Uh, I think maybe on a couple of them. Oh, okay. Because All I right. do like on the on the really spicy ones or anything that I do, is unknown. I make him wear a helmet, and uh, uh, yeah, those guys don't. You didn't tell them that. Beginning, you had to wear he a was like, you, you know, there. no, Never. no, you don't want to mention that. <laughs> if you going to take a picture, can you cut off my head? <laughs> so I can't be seen in the helmet. <laughs> People think I avoid your head because you're not wearing a helmet. No, no, no. <laughs> it's you are the other way around. <laughs> but you told me this morning that you began educating some of the other uh, cowboys in a certain thing that you and I have worked on for an entire year. What was that? Riding the right diagonal. <laughs> that was my project all of last year. And I barely got it figured out by the time I left for the summer. And you're off teaching cowboys. And what did it <laughs> Did it help? It might have helped. Yeah. But they thought, when do we ever ride a circle in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> this is kind of dumb. I was like, I can't argue with you there. <laughs> well, I, what you realize when you are on the correct diagonal is it's more comfortable for you and for the horse. So we did work on that. Got, switch. Switch. Again, switch again. No, you double switch. <laughs> Try back. No, just stop. Hold on. <laughs> that, was, that was our lessons all last year. And you got oh, yeah. it, finally. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you to State Line TAC. Also, they're our title sponsor for Wednesdays. And without them, we would have we would a tough be time being yeah. here on Wednesday. So uh, go to State Line TAC. Please help support them. StatelineTAC.com. We have a poem. And uh, we're going to go to Jenny's poem next, and let's hear that. Hi, Jamie and Glenn. Hi. This is Jenny from California, and this is the poem that I wrote in celebration of your 3,000th episode. It is titled, Ode to the Dream Stream. Driving to the farm to see my snowman, he's my boy, turn on my favorite podcast, Glenn and Jamie bring me joy. I'm learning and I'm laughing as I listen to these two. They're a wacky combination while Glenn's Jen provides the glue. <laughs> Keep up the stories, jokes, and wisdom because I love you, silly team. Happy one bajillionth episode <laughs> to my radio horsey stream. One Yay. bajillion! Seems like that sometimes, <laughs> depending on the day. <laughs> Ditch the mats and upgrade to worm flooring systems. Is the constant struggle with heavy rubber mats getting you down? Do you crave a more durable, easy-to-clean flooring solution for your trailer, barn, or any space, commercial or residential? Worm Flooring Systems solves your problems. Say goodbye to rubber mats and say hello to Worm Flooring Systems. No more liquid seeping through the w- to the wood or aluminum frame. Slip-resistant grip that provides a cushion comfort, extremely durable, built to last and withstand heavy machinery and constant use. Plus, it helps insulate the trailer. Worm Flooring Systems, the perfect choice for applications all over your horse property. We eliminate rubber mats. Visit wormflooring.com to find a dealer near you. The foundation of a horse's well-being is a strong hoof. That's why Colexiquin, the new daily hoof supplement from the makers of Cosequin, contains key ingredients such as biotin, amino acids, copper, and zinc to support hoof integrity, quality growth, strength, and durability. What sets Colexiquin apart from other hoof supplements is the inclusion of vitamin E and selenium, which provide an antioxidant support and membrane stabilization. Put your best foot forward with Colexiquin. To learn more, visit Colexiquin, that's C-A-L-X-E-Q-U-I-N dot com. Okay, here's, uh, here's more listeners. Right here. Hi. 
this is Kelly in Corona, California. I've been listening to Horse Radio Network since 2013, starting with the Dressage Radio Show and Radiothon. Then I couldn't miss my tri-weekly visits with Glenn and Jamie, as well as all the rest of the amazing hosts on shows through the Horses in the Morning lineup. It took a while until I had a job I could afford my horses and become an auditor, but I finally joined the family in 2020. Horse Radio Network has brought me so much joy. One of the best parts has been the auditor group. HRN has exposed me to new sports, specialists, products, trainers, ideas, and wonderful experiences such as the movement or cruising. Also has given me new goals, books, and friendships. The shows and auditor group have helped me through many good times and hard times. Thank you to all the Horse Radio Network hosts, staff, auditors, and fans for bringing the horse world together. Hello, just wanted to tell y'all how much I love your show. This is Christine Waldron from Cleburne, Texas. Um, you guys have expanded my horse fun for the last 12 years. Um, I've been to the World Games. I've been to Rolex slash Land Rover. <laughs> I've been to Road to the Horse. I took a mounted shooting lesson with Tammy Schrantz. You guys are like my best friends. I listen to you on the way to work every day. I listen to you on the way home every day. I listen to you in the barn. I listen to almost all the shows, as many as I can, but I can't keep up. And um, I look forward to hopefully meeting you guys when you do the Texas Oklahoma trip. Uh, Thanks a lot. Love you guys. Bye. Hi guys, it's Lisa from New Zealand and I just wanted to drop you a quick line to say um, happy 3000 episodes. Um, Horse Radio Network for me, um, thanks to Mary Kitzmiller and Jamie and listening to their journey with the Mustangs. um, I took on two (laughs) unhandled or one badly handled um, and one unhandled horse about four years ago um and went through my own journey um I never would have had the confidence to do that if I hadn't been listening to you guys um you know so they thank you for sure they are amazing and in a really good place um and I thank you our journey continues and you know I learned so much from listening to you guys and yeah like I said I never would have had the confidence to take those two horses on had I not been doing that so (laughs) many thanks and I love you guys happy 3000 and cheers to many many more I can listen to New Zealand accent all day. I love her. I'm going to get her on the co-host when you're not here. I know, right? She's so cool, too. (laughs) And uh, I don't, I guess Australia is Brumbies, so I don't know what the wild, what the unhandled horses are in New Zealand. New Zealand. See, you need to have her own. They're cobs. Yeah. (laughs) Gypsy cobs that are loose running the streets. Uh It is very cool for all of you to type in like that and for all that kind of words. I just want to thank everybody for taking the time to send in a nice message and they're thought out. And, you know, as much as you guys say we feel like family, I really think that y'all feel like family. So it's really cool. There's some other people that have sent in messages, and these are friends of ours from the podcasting world. So let's take a hear, listen to what they had to say. Hello to the Horses in the Morning team, Jimmy, Glenn Jimmy. and Jamie. Jimmy. It is producer Jimmy and George from Flintstone Media here to say happy 3,000 episodes. Oh my gosh, we are so happy for you. I don't know anybody else who would be crazy enough to talk about horses for 3,000 episodes, but we're so proud of you. And George, thank you so much for all the support that you've given to Horses of the Morning over the years. Well, look, I'm just happy to be part of the process and it's an honor working with them every day. (laughs) Absolutely. So Glenn and Jamie and to all of the ancillary hosts and guests and your regulars, the vets, everybody who's been involved with the show. Congratulations. Let's go for 3000 more. Hey, Glenn and Jamie and everyone involved with horses in the morning. It's Evo Terra. And I just got to say, wow, 3000 episodes. 3,000 episodes of the show. That's some, that's an amazing accomplishment. I, look, I've got around 500 episodes of a show that I used to do daily, and that's insane. I can't imagine doing six times that number. But you 
all have pulled it off. It's so wonderful to see this kind of longevity in the space. Congratulations on 3,000. Uh, and here's the 6,000. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, this is Scott Johnson, host of the What Was That Like podcast. Congratulations on hitting 3,000 episodes. That is an amazing accomplishment. And I would guess it's also unique. I mean, who else has done that? Unbelievable. I do have a bone to pick with you, though. My little nephew is two years old, and he was in the car, and he heard the Horses in the Morning podcast. And, of course, he gets all excited. And so for his birthday, I got him a bag of those little plastic horses. Well, he ends up eating six of them. You know how little <laughs> kids are. They just eat anything. But fortunately, the doctor looked at the x-rays and he determined that my nephew's condition was stable. Okay, sorry to ruin your 3,000th oh show with a really bad horse joke. I'll have a better one for number 4,000, I hope. <laughs> Seriously, though, congratulations on hitting that huge milestone. And I'll see you at PodFest in January. You got me on that one. Hey, Glenn, this is Jonathan from the Trivial Warfare back. Podcast, wishing you a happy 3,000 episodes, 3,000 episodes. It's incredible. I'm coming up on 400, and I feel like an old man in the game. Whew. You are my, you are my idol. You are my role model, my friend. 3,000. Great job. All the best to you. Long live horses in the morning. Jonathan does Trivial Warfare, and he's a good friend of mine. I spend PodFest uh, hanging out with Jonathan. He's, Explain to everybody what Trivial Warfare he is. Does, uh, it's, a tri it's like you go to the bar and do trivia, only it's a podcast that does that. And I'll it's, like that one. It's one of the most popular trivia podcasts. As a matter of fact, his podcast, get this, was inducted into the Trivia Hall of Fame. Yes, there's one of those, too. There's a Hall of Fame for everything, people. <laughs> that that he might went be to a Vegas. new segment coming up. Hall of Fames that you never knew about. <laughs> he, he actually went to Vegas to accept his... Uh, uh, entrance into the trip, which is there in Vegas, apparently. Oh, why wouldn't it be? So I've played twice on his show, and I'll have you know I won twice, only because they asked a lot of horse questions and he had no clue. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, people play him in trivia? Yeah, he plays. There's teams, and they play against each other. Okay. It's a really good show. It really cool. is a good show. But hard questions, really hard. There's more talk than ever about the importance of probiotics in animal health, but not all probiotics are created equal. New Purina Systemic Supplement remains live and active after after the pelleting process and throughout the digestive system, making it all the way to the hind gut. Systemic was designed to support normal recovery after exercise and occasional gastrointestinal stress. Whether you're using a probiotic now or not, it's time to use a live and active supplement from the name you can trust, New Purina Systemic Probiotic. Here's uh, Diana with a poem. Hi, this is Diana Stuckey, and I wrote a poem to help celebrate the 3,000 episodes. Here it goes. What podcast is this? I think I know as I hear the horses whinny on the show, full of joy like a vivid rainbow. I listen to them laugh. I cry hello. They give us horsey info abound and laughs until our bellies ache. The horsey stuff, there is no limit. 3,000 episodes, they are in it to win it. They are big now, goofy and deep. They also have promises to keep. As listeners from near and far keep on listening, even in their car. They rise to the promise that they made to keep it horsey and never be afraid. With thoughts of horses drifting in their heads, Glenn and Jamie get ready for the days ahead. Congratulations to all of you and the HRN family. 3,000 episodes. This is the best podcast ever. Yay! Aww. Best podcast Bird ever. Right there. right there. I need to cut that out. Yes. We can play it all the time. <laughs> we just need to save that sound. Bite. People like she was talking about somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These people, y'all are so amazing and creative. And well, here's kind. some more of them. Hi, horses in the morning. Uh, congratulations on your 3,000th episode. And I really enjoy listening to you all. Uh, I find you when my mare broke her front leg a couple of years ago and I had nothing else to do than listening to podcasts and driving my car. She's now fine and I bought an OTTB thanks of Jamie going through her OTTBs and Sorry. it's the best horse Another I've ever one. had. Aww. And I just want to tell you guys that you're great. I would have never have felt such a huge companionship with any, with any other people 
than I've done with you. Please continue on until we are old and gray. Hi, Jamie and Glenn. This is Margaret DeWire from Southern Vermont. I'm calling to congratulate you on 3,000 episodes of Horses in the Morning. It's been such a pleasure to listen to you and all of the information, the education, and the laughs that you've given us over the years. I'm a fairly new horse owner and also a fairly new auditor. I've only been on for about two years, but boy, have I learned a lot. Jacques and I really appreciate everything you do, and we're hoping for another 3,000 more. Love you. Bye. I don't even listen to radio anymore. I listen to the Horses in the Morning podcast and some other podcasts on the Horse Radio Network. I tell all my horsey friends about you guys, and they look at me like I'm speaking Greek. Who who do am I speaking about? Um, I spread the word because you guys have taught me so much about horses' health and training, and um, I just get a lot of entertainment out of you guys. Thank you so much. Hi, good morning. It's Laureen Barden. Hi, Laureen. I just want to call and congratulate you on 3,000 episodes. Um, I remember like it was yesterday when I called to congratulate you on 2,000 episodes. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate you and and the the work that you put into doing these shows and to keep it going. Um, I listen to Horses in the Morning every day. Um, and even if I'm having a bad day, bad week, good day, um, good times, no matter what, I always listen. And you guys are always there for me, even when you didn't know you were there for me. And I just wanted to let you guys know how much, how much I, I love you. I love the shows. And um, congratulations again, and keep up the great work. And I'll be calling you on 4,000 episodes. Bye. <laughs> Woo! I'd like to thank Laureen, because she's really tried to get me to perfect my New Jersey accent. <laughs> I'll be calling you. <laughs> I just love it. it. makes me so happy. She makes me so happy. Actually, Laureen, you've provided Jamie and I a lot of entertainment yeah, over yeah. the years. So, so we're calling you <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> to thank you. I just want to say, Barrett, um, first of all, farm boy, do you now believe that I do this for a living? Did you think that I was making this job up? Like, you see all these people actually job? like the show? It they... is good to see it in person. <laughs> She's just like, I got to go to work, go in the house for two hours. Yeah. You I... thought she was goofing off, didn't you? Yeah. You thought she was up here eating bonbons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had my suspicions. <laughs> I actually do something, yeah, so it was cool. This is great. Well, I know we had a lot of people were asking us questions and, uh, like, asking listener questions, and you had this one written down for the after that and it's the who do you wish you could interview for the show do you have before we get to that i have another listener question okay when did barrett learn you call him farm boy on the Uh, show (laughs) i don't like using people's real names no that was actually protection for to use a real name yeah did but when did you learn and were you pissed i wasn't mad i don't even know when i learned it was definitely a few months after she started calling me farm boy because I think she told me. Yeah, she finally couldn't stand it anymore. She had her guilt was <laughs> her conscience was well, getting. The problem her. was I because I call him farm boy to you guys that in the barn I'd be like farm Barry. <laughs> oh, that's my, I think that was how it went. I was like, what? Have and you I ever can't... listened to this nonsense? By the way, she told me I'm not allowed to listen to it. <laughs> and you're such a good uh, student. <laughs> she he listened to that. At least somebody listens to Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but, blushing. The questions that somebody wanted to ask was, who do you wish you could interview for the show? Now, you've had some really ridiculous... I want a Carrie Underwood. I, I want Kaylee Kuko. I still want Kaylee Kuko. And she's a horse person, so yeah, that's she's not a horse ridiculous. Person. Yep, no, she's a horse person, and I still... Anybody has any contacts with Kaylee? Do you message her? Do you message We've tried getting through her people and just can't... Yeah. yeah we've not been able to get I through. gave up. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just, I, she wore me down. Her people I mean, we've gotten some big name guests, you know, Charlie Daniels and all of that, and, uh, but we can't get through to Kelly. I tell you what, I have messaged this one particular person. If I Do go, I know about this? If I go to Facebook and I click message, there's at least 37 messages from me unanswered, <laughs> to the, and I just copy and paste it every week. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this for, and I've messaged his PR people. I, I've gone to his 
Facebook, his website, where it's like, if you have interview requests, contact this person. I'm apparently not good enough. I have messaged this person probably four to 600 times. <laughs> Unrequited love is what it is with me and Tom Burlington. <laughs> and you're saying Tom Burlington. That, that Australia dude. That is familiar. That's the man from Snowy River. <laughs> And seriously, 40... How old is he now? It was for, the man from Snowy River came out 40 years ago, like this week. And so they were having this big like gala in Australia. And I was like, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go <laughs> because that's the only way I'm ever going to talk to him. And then he did. But he also like got into Australia's Got Talent. So then he spiked in fame again and nobody answered me. But now it's like, calm down. He's back. He's, he's was a he, did he Sinatra stay impersonator. Was, it, was he in other stuff after that? Farlap. Oh. And Man from Snowy River, part two, Return to Snowy River, <laughs> obviously. It doesn't that matter. That was 40 years ago. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now he's a Frank Sinatra impersonator. Why really? can I not book him He's a Frank show? Sinatra impersonator? Yes, he does shows. All right, he's at the level. But that's a C or D list, so he should be on our show. Why is he not <laughs> writing know. me back? Maybe he doesn't want to talk about Man from Snowy Listen, River anymore. <laughs> Tom, for God's sake. Maybe he's like, that part of my life is over. I, I would like to point Frank out. Frank Sinatra now. I am your biggest <laughs> fan, and I will never be harsh or judge you ever. Ever. I love you so much. Why won't he write me back? I mean, I've written. I've, Lisa says, but you've gotten messages and, and letters from the queen. Well, she hasn't come Didn't, on the show yeah, either. <laughs> I'm I'm honored to have that, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't understand. I just I try. Just so you guys know, I try. And y'all all probably could, we don't care. I care. <laughs> we don't care if we have. I do. It's a life goal. <laughs> all right. Uh, do you want to hear? We'll get, to, we'll get a couple more questions. Do you, Do you want to hear? Uh, I think this is the last compilation we have. Okay. All right. So let's take a listen to this. Hi guys, it's Melanie from Maryland, and I have an anniversary limerick for you. <laughs> limerick. There once was a Daily Horse podcast. Never did they think it would last. Glenn is the geek, and we know Jamie's not weak. 3,000 episodes and still having a blast. Happy anniversary, guys. Hey, this is Nan Resch from Wisconsin. I just wanted to congratulate you on 3,000 episodes. Just imagine how many horses have whinnied back to your daily whinny <laughs> as we are listening to your show in the barn. I'm looking forward to 3,000 more shows. You guys feel like family. You're welcome. Happy 3,000 episodes. Um, I feel like you tell us all the time and I can't remember, but um, I think it's amazing that it's a horsey podcast uh, that, it, that is up there in the rankings in, in number of podcasts recorded. Uh, so mega, mega well, well done, guys. Um, I think where you differentiate from other podcasts is that your interaction with listeners like when I looked, just was looking on Facebook for a bit of inspiration for what to say. And there's all the lives that you do, the stable scoop live that you do, the what the bleep show. Um, and, you know, as an as an auditor, you know, I really do feel involved in the show. And I, yeah, really, really enjoy that. And I do think that's what sets you apart from other podcasts. So congrats, guys. And I hope you've got some kind of good celebrations going on. We do. Hey, horses in the morning. Congratulations, Glenn, Jamie, and Jen, on your 3,000th episode. This is Nikki Rotino Lambert from New Jersey and co host of the WTF radio show that is on the Horse Radio Network for auditors only. Um, I mean, you guys are like extended family. You guys mean the world to me. Been listening to you guys since probably the beginning, close to. I used to have to download you guys on my MP3 player so I could listen to you. Uh, now I'm so grateful that like it just comes from my phone. So. I am so ecstatic for you guys. I'm also, I mean, like I said, it's extended family, but it's also been extended family with the auditors and the community that you built. I can't thank you enough for all that you do. And I look forward to the next 3000. Love you guys. Hey, it's your legacy listener, Rhonda Crabtree. I can't believe I've listened to 3000 episodes of Horses in the Morning. You've both become my friends over the last 12 years. For me, the best part of the show is listening to you two chat. Your stories are always so entertaining. Congratulations on 3,000 episodes. Hi, this is Ruth from New Jersey. 
Jamie and Glenn, congratulations on 3,000 episodes of Horses in the Morning. It all started with Jessica Phoenix and Gina Miles. Jamie, you were quite a fangirl that day. The journey has been great thus far. What a wonderful community you've created. I'm sure it's beyond your wildest dreams, except for perhaps in the monetary sense. Thanks to Jen, (laughs) Jemmy, and everyone behind the scenes, and hello to all my great auditor friends. Oh, so right. (laughs) (laughs) I remember when I went to get interviewed at your house, and I've told this story before, but I really was like, I'm sorry, this guy like has a podcast network about horses. He must be independently wealthy. (laughs) Nope. (laughs) Can I tell them what I saw when I got to your house? I don't remember. I remember, so yeah, sure. yeah I don't we talked about it. So you go, I go in your house, it's just a cute house in Lexington, and like your kitchen table was a folding table, and your, you had like lawn chairs as yeah. your kitchen Our chairs. Dining set your was dining in. set yeah. was like a oh, lawn. That's right. And I was like, okay, so this is we're a startup. <laughs> <laughs> I All think right. we still have that folding table. It's in the it's yeah. in the trailer I right now. No, <laughs> I didn't know what I was coming into. I'm like, am I gonna be like rolling up on some dude like who just has way too much money in like this McMansion <laughs> that he just oh, like that's I'm fun. just gonna make it rain horse podcast nope nope we're a startup <laughs> <laughs> and you know we we get compliments all the time for keeping it real here last friday's episode for instance when you talked about your situation with the with the philly mm-hmm. and we with a lot of the people commented on that uh, i can give you an update too <clears throat> okay so we had some lean years there were some lean years here on the horse radio network after we started this show even i mean we're not fat <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're not starving anymore. Yeah, but uh, it was you know at least we're paying the bills now right and now. you know <laughs> able to eat. So we're eating something other than ramen now. We we so moved up that. from ramen to lunch meat. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, real <laughs> yes. lunch meat. So you know it, it, it. There hasn't always been, and you know what? We hope that you didn't notice that. We hope that being on the air, you never notice when we're having a bad day. And there are a lot of times we're having a bad day. That's One or the other of both of us. Sometimes actually. that your funniest is when you're having a bad day. And that is true, actually. Well, um, that, it, that laughter helps you burn off some of the stress. Because usually when you're having a bad day, you're having a bad day because it's something you have zero control over. So if you can get yourself to laugh about it just a little bit, it maybe reduces the amount of alcohol you consume later in the day. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm dealing with some stuff with my mom right now and and sitting down in front of stop talking about it because of bringing it up. But th- when this mic turns on, that all goes away because this is the focus that you have in front of you. And if I do a bad job, then I'm just going to be mad at myself. And it's compounded onto all the other stuff that you have going on. So this becomes a priority. You used to say, what I'd be, la, 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 and the mic would turn on. You're listening to horses. But that's, that's what we do. And, and again, it makes you, it, this, this makes me happy doing this. I learned that on stage which you have three or 400 people watching you live out in the Suck audience. Suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, when you're having a bad day, when you walk on that stage, that all has to go away. Cause, and it's true, though, you said this is therapy for you, but it's that way for the listener, too. When they hit play, this is their therapy. So we're all winning here. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! 3,000. Uh, this leads to another question that we got from Jennifer. Uh, or no, uh, actually, this one's from Katie. What's one skill or talent you wish you had that the other has? Wait, one skill or talent you wish you had that you the had. other has. Oh. So, and I have an answer to this. Well, I wasn't prepared. Now I'm gonna. <laughs> no, you don't have to have one. I have an answer for okay. this, and that's to tell a story as good as you do. You <laughs> are the best at telling stories. So, when we do our pre-show meeting, Jamie will say, "Well, I got this story. It's a two-minute story," and then I know, and I actually write down. Anytime you say two, that means 10. <laughs> so I know if she says, oh, I got a quick two-minute story, it's 10 minutes. Okay. You can take a two-minute story into 10 minutes without any problem at all. But you do it so well. I wish I was as good a storyteller. Is what, oh, uh, thanks. You are a really good storyteller. But. I don't understand technology, so you've got that over <laughs> my head. Yeah, <laughs> none of my hosts do. Trust me. <laughs> it's not just you. Um, I like the the question, what has been your favorite show or episode? Oh, my God. We've had 3,000 uh, trying to remember one. I mean, I have some guests that I was really excited about. Um, although, the other, the other day when we were driving home from Colorado, we tried several different podcasts to... That, that Lucas could agree on, that Chad could agree on, and both of them ended up just wanting to hear horses in the morning. 
<laughs> they were like, yours is the best. Oh, that's funny. And so we ended up listening to like a comp. Well, <laughs> I don't know why I did this in my marriage, but we listened to like a compilation of Damn It Zeus episodes. Uh, <laughs> Chad was like, God, I hate that horse. I'm like, well, it's here for entertainment. <laughs> we so listened he's to contributed Lucas's a lot. Birthday episode because he got to hear his daily witty. But I, I am proud to do this show, but I'm also, it's like we have a 10 year old listener now. I'm proud at what content we bring to a 10 year old. And I think my and answer would be, son, so. uh, my answer would be the road shows we've done, the shows we've done on the road at shows, at conferences, at expos, you know, all of those. Oh, the live been, shows are by far. You know, and favorites, you know, yeah. when we do those shows, it's uh, Charlie Daniels. I mean, that was kind of a highlight for me uh, because we had just seen him play. Well, that This is favorite episodes, not favorite guests. Uh, if you yeah, want okay. favorite guests, so that's later. Well, one of my favorite episodes you weren't on actually, oh, so that's and that's the one we did at Graceland. Okay. Yeah, and then we've done some at Disney. You know, we just done. It's been cool. You know, the different things we've done on the road too. So, it, and it is hard. I mean, it's, there's three thousand of them, and to be honest, I don't remember two thousand nine hundred ninety eight of them because I'm old. <laughs> so. No, it's because they go in your brain and have to go out. Because if you stored all of this, you'd have no room to remember to breathe. Yeah, <gasps> it's raining. Yeah, oh you really. Oh, the our camper, camper windows is open. open. Yeah, you probably ought I to go, go check on that. <laughs> My favorite episode was the first Radiothon. So there. You go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, uh, Radiothon. A lot of memories from Radiothon. I really love Radiothon. Yeah, well, that'll come back. I we'll get that back. The, I, I was just asking off the off the air if, if anybody's actually still watching this and listening, and they are, and you guys are awesome. And I, I, you know, I'm seeing these names pop up, and I've talked to all of you. I have written into other podcasts before, or I mean, I was a radio nerd growing up, and I wrote to DJs or I call. You know, no, I never ever heard back. Still to this day, if I feel like I want to say something to somebody, I will send them a message, like a nice message. And nobody ever writes back. And I'm seeing all of your names and I feel like I know all of you. So that's really, that to me is really special that there's a, a give, but there's also a give back, which you don't find in radio. And to do 3000, we've, we've been given back to, otherwise you wouldn't keep doing it. That's right. And, you know, when I speak at podcasting conferences, I say all the time, you have to be part of your community. Yes, you built a community, but you're part of the community. Yeah, and I think a lot of people miss the mark with that. Yep. I mean, when I was a radio DJ, I would get messages and I would... I would have to sit down every week and write back. And sometimes it'd take me a couple weeks and then I would get a flood of messages back. I'm like, I was always trying to keep up, but I never was good at it. And I hope that I've been good at it with most of uh, the people that are listening. And if I don't know you, like I said before, send me a message, introduce yourself. I want to know you. I, I This is, this is a, a community and a family. I mean, it, we're all in the horse world. Obviously we wouldn't be here and all of us have a little bit of crazy if we're doing that. So, or a little bit of passion and it's just something that you have in your blood to love horses. And uh, well, that's what's really cool about farm boy is to see a 21 year old kid guy who just loves horses. He just loves horses. And that was me. And that's all of you. We just love horses or we wouldn't be here. And who was really willing to step out of his comfort zone to come to you. Yeah. I mean, you were way out of his comfort zone. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he messaged me and call- he called me on the phone. That was what it took. 20-year-old boy picking up the phone, calling some stranger. Was that a conversation like this? I will No, it was. <laughs> I mean, I was, it was, I was like, okay. I'm Barrett weirdo like you want to learn how to train horses like you not weirdo but you know what I mean then send me a resume and he sends me his resume and I called him back and I was like mm, I'm pretty sure that I'm your resume <laughs> of breaking quarter horses in Wyoming I'm like we don't do that here sorry thank you though and he's like no I know I I, I want to learn what you do which is really impressive right yeah. and I was like okay well you should come out and that was it and, no, I, and I was like, I'm not going to pay you. You're just going to like have to people. I go, people pay me to learn what I know. So you're going to have to work. And he's like, that's okay. And it was probably a couple of weeks, probably a month. I didn't pay him. And finally I was like, I'm at least pay for your gas. <laughs> <laughs> but I do pay him a little I, bit now. You know, I feel like the listeners are in the same boat, right? They're yeah. listening because they also want to expand. You yeah. know, they want to grow in the industry and, and learn something different and something new and maybe something better, you know, than what they're doing now. So, yeah, uh, you know, 
we've Jennifer and I've learned a lot in the last couple of years because we've traveled so much. And isn't it cool that wherever we went, England, Scotland, uh, 14 states in the United States, we met listeners everywhere we went. Uh, and it is just so this trip, right? Yeah. We're meeting listeners here on this trip everywhere we go. And we have made the best friends. And I think that's, I think for me, that's the best part of this is we have made the best, my best friends now are all part of the Horse Radio Network, either hosts or listeners or sponsors or somebody involved with the Horse Radio Network. And that includes the auditors. I mean, you know, they truly, we were painting our new house in February and Auditors heard that, me say that on the air, and I think 10 of them showed up, including two from California, who happened to be in town, showed up and helped build furniture and paint and do all of that stuff because they volunteered to do it, and they drove hours. Well, I I have a, a I, I didn't have any friends here in Oklahoma and I moved here, and one girl heard me talking about life in Oklahoma, and she lives here, and she's like, I should call that girl, she sounds... <laughs> Like she needs she some needs help. help. And now she's become my best friend here. So all because of the Horse Radio Network. Hi, Larissa. Not that she's listening anymore, but that's fine. Yeah, I tell people up. who know me. She got to know you. Don't listen. It's too much me. Our families don't listen. That's Nobody good. needs that. I don't need that much me. <laughs> so thank you all. We're going to continue doing this for a little while longer. People ask us how we've done 3,000 one episode at a time. People have asked me recently, are you going to do another 3,000? Who knows? We're just going to keep doing one episode at a time. And we are going to do a post-show, and it will be 10-year-old friendly. So auditors that are watching live, you can continue watching live. We will be here for you in the post-show. That's about it. Um, I'm sorry to say goodbye on this episode, but we have to. So, Spay, neuter, and gel. (laughs) So long, everybody. 